Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Spring Porter with Spring Solutions LLC. In this video, I'm going to be giving you five reasons why we may procrastinate. This is something that's important to address when you're starting something new in business, uh, you're trying to learn something new, procrastination comes up, It's we're all human, right? Um, the video after this, I'm going to be talking about motivation and things to keep motivated. So uh, I hope that you find these particular series of videos helpful for you. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Please know that, again, I am not a psychiatrist, psychologist. Um, this is just based on my own experience. Hi everyone, thanks again for tuning into my channel. So in this particular video, I'm talking about procrastination and why we do it. Um, I do it, I'm sure that you do it. Um, I am not a psychologist by no means, but I have enough life experience to know um, why certain things are done in terms of what I do um, and why I do certain things. Uh, the first one being, and I believe that way that some people may procrastinate, you may have too many distractions. I know that there are times that I have to actually delete, temporarily delete my Instagram and temporarily delete Facebook um, because I'm just on it too much. And I'm not getting useful information. Some of the times I'm just looking at Hollywood gossip or just to see who's dating who or what they wore or just random facts that I really don't need to know. Like when referees get knocked out in a boxing ring, why is that important to my life? I have no idea, but I have done that before. I'm like, why am I researching this? It's not edifying my life, right? So we have too many distractions. And I think sometimes we have to scale it back and maybe delete some of those things temporarily, go on a fast. The fast is not always pertaining to food and drink. It could be, you know, what you consume with your eyes as well. Sometimes that could be things on social media. So that's just something to think about. If you don't do that, I temporarily do that from time to time where I will delete it probably for a week and then I'll come back on um, and see what I've missed. I know that the younger generation for sure probably get their news and things like that from online on certain hashtags. That is important. But if it's not edifying your life or bringing certain things into your life that are of importance, you probably don't need it. The next one, fear. Fear is something that um, we struggle with as humans, right? I know that I do. I'm starting something new. Again, uh, selling cosmetics online. Yeah, I have a fear of that, a fear of the unknown, fear of failure, even creating the course. All those things came to my mind. But at the end of the day, even if I fail, uh, if I have certain fears. These are going to be on my own terms. Um, I need to know that I tried everything that I could to make it work. And these are all the things um, that I wanted to do. So I have to go forward, even if it means it doesn't work. At least you learned um, at the end of the day why it didn't work. So I hope that you see yourself in some of the examples that I'm providing you, because right now I'm talking about me, but I'm sure that we all can relate on, you know, why we're fearful of certain things. Um, you don't have to have all the answers. You just have to know where to look to find them. And I think that cripples a lot of us from trying new things because we're like, oh, I don't need, have all the answers that I need right now. I'm not going to even try. And sometimes you don't have all the answers. You're just going by faith, like blind faith on some instances. And you just have to figure it out. You just keep going until it becomes clear. Sometimes the tasks are too big or they seem too hard, right? And you're like, eh, or it's not familiar for you. So you just don't even want to bother. You break them down into bite-sized pieces. Uh, the video that I'm going to be doing after this is going to be talking about motivating, things to motivate you. And one of those items on there uh, talk about how to break things down into bite-sized steps so that you can achieve your goal, right? You don't start off with losing 100 pounds. You start off with five or three. Um, the next one on here is your self-worth. You may procrastinate because deep down, you may feel like you're not worthy of something. So here you're talking about your self-worth and your self-value. And that's something that um, I think we all may struggle with from, from time to time. But you can't let these things cripple you from being in a place of just complacency. So I think that's where I'm getting at. Um, another thing on here, you don't know where to start or you lack information. Um, again, you have to know where to look. If you don't have all the answers, find a mentor or someone that can give you the answers or you research it on your own. Um, there's not a new problem in the world. There's always some information that is out there. Somebody has it. All you have to do is research or, you know, read on it or reach out to someone who has the answers for you. And you just sort of incorporate that into your life 
in whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish, whether it be starting a business on claim funds or not, or even for me right now, it's adding an additional stream of income with doing cosmetics online. There's a lot of things that I don't know, but I'm researching it and I'm trying to find all the answers. So these are reasons why you probably may procrastinate. Um, but again, procrastinating from time to time is normal. But I think the problem is, is where we stay stuck in it and we don't remove ourselves out of that state of a constant procrastination. So just make sure that you have your clear goals in mind and you know what it is that you want to do and you can sort of pull yourself out of that. I hope that this is helpful. Please continue to like, share, and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.